I'm Dr. Sagar Loniel from the Winship Cancer Institute of Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm here to talk about our abstract evaluating CC220 or ibertamide for patients with relapsed and refractory myeloma. We know that the IMID class of agents has been very active in myeloma for patients in all phases of disease, all the way from smoldering through relapse and refractory disease with agents such as thalidomide, lenalidomide, and pomalidomide. What I presented at ASCO was the first presentation of data using the new cell mod, and cell mod means cerebron binding protein that is selected to be more specific for Icarus and Ielios downregulation through binding of cerebron. And this drug was previously known as CC220. It's now known as ibertamide or Iber. And this was a phase one study evaluating Iber in combination with dexamethasone. And we went through doses all the way from 0.3 milligrams per day all the way up to doses of 1.3 milligrams per, de per day in combination with weekly dexamethasone. Iber is taken similar to POM and LEN in the sense that it's given three weeks on with a one-week break and is currently being explored as a single agent alone, so no dex, as well as in combination with bortezomib, carfilzomib, and daratumumab. What we demonstrated in this phase one trial is that roughly 30% of patients responded to Iber plus dex, even if they were resistant to pomalidomide, daratumumab, lenalidomide, or proteasome inhibitors. This suggests that in aggregate, Iber plus dex represents a new way to overcome resistance to pomalidomide and lenalidomide, and likely because of its mechanisms of enhancing immune function, will be a very good partner with monoclonal antibodies, CAR T cells, or other immune-based therapies. So we're very excited about this new treatment option for patients for whom POM and LEN no longer work, but Iber and DEX may offer a new treatment approach.